A British government official who pushed sexually unbiased restroom strategies has been accused of tyke sex violations. Tory councillor David Smith has been charged with nine checks of sexual contacting of a youngster. Smith effectively requested of the mayor of Middlesbrough to preliminary sexually unbiased toilets at Middlesbrough Council not long after his race to the neighborhood specialist in Tyside, Yorkshire. Breitbart.com reports, Councillor Smith left the notionally right inclining party, portrayed as not by any stretch of the imagination traditionalist by Brexit party pioneer Nigel Farage in an ongoing meeting with Breitbart News with quick impact in light of the claims against him. He included that he totally rejects the fake charges, in any case, asserting that he was just expelling myself from the gathering, to guarantee I can concentrate every one of my endeavors on battling to demonstrate my innocence. All things considered, reports recommend he plans to stay on the chamber, enabling him to keep accepting a detailed £6,378 in essential remittance until further notice. Smith said he had endeavored to guarantee I serve the general population of Coolby Newham, the ward to which he was chosen distinctly around two months prior, as well as could be expected. The 30-year-old asserted handling the issue of pot gaps, requesting bollards to be introduced, and being a pleased promoter of the neighborhood LGBTQ people group as vocation features. This is the kind of person I am as an individual and a network lobbyist, he stated, demanding that the charges made against my character are just harming untruths and pushing ahead, I will try to demonstrate this is the situation in an official courtroom. Smith was beforehand the subject of debate when it developed that he had recommended the nation has issues with spoiled lake life families that ought to be sanitized and washed while posting on an affiliation football discussion under the moniker Smoggy 89. A representative for Cleveland police affirmed that Smith it due to show up at Eastside Magistrates Court on Wednesday 7 August. 